Hey guys, it's me, Elise, and I'm back with another review featuring Lux Weave. I have reviewed for them in the past, so this will be my third time reviewing for them. However, this time I did pick up their Brazilian Yaki Straight hair. This is actually their Mink Yaki Straight. I would describe it as being more so like a coarse Yaki. Um, okay, but with my order, I did receive this sheet, which kind of gave me the details on my order. It kind of gave me the, the, the hair that I received as well as the length. They took a picture of it to kind of verify what I received okay however this is what the hair looks like again it's more so like a coarse yaki I did receive four bundles in a closure which are the lengths two sixteens a 14 a 12 and a 14 inch lace frontal however I didn't use the 12 inch bundle because it was just a miscellaneous short piece and plus this hair is very thick two to three bundles should work this is what the hair looks like unraveled it is it does look a bit over processed in my opinion and it has a ton of great gray hairs. I did have to go through it and pluck the majority of them out. However, it was just way too many for me to get away with all of them. Okay, so this is what the frontal looks like. It is 13 by 3 inches, and I see a lot of people on YouTube who have frontals, so I went, decided to jump on the bandwagon, and I wanted kind of to give it a tryout for myself. So within this video, I'm going to show you guys how I actually made my frontal look a little bit more realistic and natural looking, but again, this is what it looks like. The knots aren't bleached. I'm not going to bleach it. However, you can if you choose to. I'm just going to do the um, pull out method, like the pull out the hair strands, give it a more natural look. And that's what I'm doing right now. I just parted the hair and I am just carefully pulling out the hair little by little to create a more wider natural looking part. Um, I'm also going to do the same for the front perimeter just to kind of make it look less dense. I'm just going to part off a little bit of those baby hairs and again I'm just going to go in and carefully pull out some of those hairs to make it look a little bit, again, less dense. So you guys can kind of see the comparison to the side where which I did pull out some of the hair to the other side is, is a lot more thicker. So I'm going to do the same on the other side and we're going to move along. So a lot of you guys have asked how do I wear my hair underneath my wigs and I just have them in some going straight back corn rows. Nothing too special but that's what it looks like. And here is the unit completed. So um, there's what my parting space looks like on the unit. It's very wide and it goes all the way back. You do have tons of parting space with these frontals. That's why I do prefer them. I think I kind of prefer them over closures. However, I have to get used to them. They're a bit, you know, long and go behind the ears. So um, you do have to get used to it. I did sew on two wefted combs just so that my lace lays down flatter. That is the only issue that I'm having with, with frontals. Like they does, they don't lay down as flat as closures do. So I did again sew on those wefted clips. Now I'm just smoothing out my edges using a little bit of edge control, and I'm going to get the wig on, and this is what it looks like straight on. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and part my hair underneath the unit just to kind of, you know, I like to do the behind the, the hairline method, so that's the reason for that. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of concealer so that it can better match with my skin tone. Pretty much this is what the hair looks like. Now I absolutely love the hair. Now again I did say that it was a little bit over processed. However, you can't really tell once the unit is all the way put together, okay? But again, this hair really does remind me of like relaxed girl hair. It has slightly, a, it has a very slight amount of texture to it. However, it's still very movable, very soft, flowy. I did get a couple of strands of hair when I was running my hands through it, so you are going to get probably the minimum amount of shedding. Again, you can part this hair from ear to ear, so again, you do get a whole lot of parting, which is the reason why I do like prefer the closure, or excuse me, the frontals over the closure. Um, but again, this is what the hair looks like. So you guys do check out luxweave.com. I'll leave all the information down below. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Bye.